Thanks for tuning in to Hot Tub Sleeper Picks. We want to take a moment to tell you how much we appreciate you coming back every week. Sadly, this is our last week. Our last week filming here. Enjoy the show and know that next week marks a new beginning for us here at Hot Tub Sleeper Picks. See ya. Hey, fantasy baseball fans. Welcome to Hot Tub Sleeper Picks. It's week two in the MLB, and we ladies are back with some players that you must keep an eye on. Or just snatch right up. Well, since they're here for some info, let's get it started. My sleeper pick this week is Alex Gordon, outfielder for the Kansas City Royals. Since being selected second in this 2005 draft, Gordon has had huge expectations placed on him. Originally thought to be the second coming of George Brett, Alex is now in the outfield where he started the season hot. He has the skills, and I say grab him before it's too late. Maybe Gordon is in the second coming of a royal great after all. How McRae, perhaps. Okay, so before I tell you my sleeper pick, let's check out the farm report. Hi, y'all. This week's farm report is really a continuation of Destiny's sleeper pick. The big reason Kansas City moved Gordon to the outfield is Mike Moustakis, their third base phenom. Sure, Big Mike had a chance to take the job in the spring and didn't, but with only a struggling Mike Avilas and journeyman Wilson Bedemit standing in his way, I expect him to be in the show before we know it. Grab him and expect solid numbers right away. Keeper League players, if he's free, email me. I want in your league. Moving away from the surprising Royals, my sleeper pick this week is catcher J.P. Arancibia from the Toronto Blue Jays. This rookie has started the season hot, and though he's losing games to Emelina every week, he's on pace for Rookie of the Year stats. And remember, he's a catcher, so if you're struggling along at that position, you should grab this kid before it's too late. With Seattle and Boston on tap this week, you'll get a great look at his composure. And if he does well, mm -hmm. I'll guarantee you someone in your league will have him in their lineup. Seriously, when was the last time you saw a rookie catcher hit 25 home runs? Mike Piazza, maybe. Not bad company for JP. Not bad. Well, it's almost time for my choice, but first, Let's check out the girls with Arms Dealing. Welcome to this week's Arms Dealing. The big arm I'm buying this week is Brett Myers, starting pitcher for the Houston Astros. We all know what kind of pitcher Myers can be, and judging by last season, he is that guy again. With two starts under his belt, so far he's looked great, and with two starts this week against the Padres and the Cubs, I expect him to keep it up. Look for 15 wins by season's end and a 3.5 ERA. Not bad for a guy sitting on the waiver wire right now. Not bad at all. Well, this week I'm selling Chad Billingsley, the number two in Los Angeles. This week the Dodgers face the Cardinals and Giants and should hemorrhage runs from today until Sunday. I know big things are expected from Billingsley this season and I'm not disagreeing with that assessment, but look, Pujols is going to explode and the San Fran LA rivalry is just too intense these days for me to think Chad has the stuff to turn in a good outing. So sit him and grab another guy or your team's stats will suffer. Mm -hmm. Now back to Wait the tub. Wait a second. Before you go, I want to say bye James McDonald, starting pitcher for the Pirates. This is definitely a stretch, but watching him work against the Rockies this past Sunday after a disastrous first inning, I'm sure he's going to be a solid stop in the Pirate rotation this season. I'm all about going out on a limb, so listen close. Look for McDonald to win 12 plus games this season and get an ERA down to 3.75. And now, back to the tub. Okay, so Sammy and Destiny, my sleeper pick this week might be a little like a farm report because he's in the minors now, but I assure you, Diane Viciedo will not be there for long. The young Cuban superstar was signed <laughs> for big bucks in 2008 and had been the third baseman of the future for the Chicago White Sox. Somewhere along the way, Ozzy and company fell in love with Brent Morrell and Diane has been pushed to the outfield. Had he not injured himself in spring training, he was a shoe in for the final 25. In my mind, that means the second he shows that he's fully healed, he's getting called up. Once that happens, look for the tank to tear it up, whether he's filling in for Juan Pierre, Carlos Quinton, or getting some time at third, because honestly, he's the better prospect. Is Viscato a reach? Yes, but one worth taking. So those are our sleeper picks for the second week of the 2011 baseball season. And yeah, maybe mine was a guy who won't pay off for like a month or so, but really... Well, whatever. You made your picks, and now you gotta live with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, until next week. Oh, and don't forget to check out our site. Yes. 
Fantastic yeah. site. <laughs> yeah, www.hottubsleeperpigs.com. Don't forget the K in pigs either. Bye! So the MLB is finally free of Manny Ramirez. And if you were banking on him for some help this season, sorry, you were banking on a flake. On the bright side, this should get Desmond Jennings into the show quickly. If you need stats now, look elsewhere. But if you got the roster room, stash the future star, and when he gets called up, you can thank me. I accept chocolates filled with caramel. Seriously, Jennings is Carl Crawford all over again, only better.